Hey everybody, it's Nooch. And as you can see, Nooch is in it for the money. Okay, now that that's established, whatever. <laughs> Just thought I'd throw that out there. So Nooch has been really hard on the Gungans. I mean, if you watch a couple of Nooch's recent video, not only did he classify them as poodoo, they came up in a couple other places, and, and Nooch just really just just made gross faces and disgusting noises, and Nooch is really down on the Gungans. So Nooch only felt it was fair to play with the Gungans for a while and see if we could accomplish some good. And we did. We won some battles with Gungans, and we found some usefulness for them. Even though they cost four and do almost no damage, but no damage, we found some usefulness for the Gungans where we can put them behind a tank or with a tank, or you can defend that tower in the middle sometimes by fighting off one of their big guys. So we're going to show you just a few clips here at the beginning, and then we'll get into some battles. But we're just going to show you a few clips for, of the Gungans being useful. Here they are, stunning Darth Vader. That's something you can use. Unfortunately, the tank was already dead by the time they got there, and so they're wiped out. So, yeah, it, it, they, if they're with the tank, great. Now, here they are. They're going to use, they're going to be with the tower and with the $1 pour, the one energy pours. So the, the tower still dies, but they're able to finish off the battle droids. Battle droids do not have a lot of health. So Gungans are pretty good against them. Then they continue marching down the field. They're actually, the animation on the Gungans is actually a lot of fun. Nooch has to admit that. The destroyer droid rolls through them. Oh, free energy and LLH. Sorry, guys, I'm going to turn these notifications off. So oh, the Gungans are still alive, and we laid more down. So we've got more Gungans. We're still going. They, they take care of the Guavian, and now they're going to start stunning that tower. Look at that. That's a nice little gameplay right there. That's a nice little push from the Gungans, basically, on their own with a few Porgs. One thing you'll find is, while they did okay against the Guavian there, they do not do well against flames of any kind. So, Flame Trooper, Flame Tower, Gungans die, Gungans die, Misa no likey. So, uh, Misa no like it, Misa. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so, there they were. They, they, they kind of stalled the battle droid for a minute, but not really very good. Now, they're going to come on the, on the other side of a... Uh, of a sniper and see the destroyer droid rolled through and only stunned two of them and one of them even stayed on the sniper. So you can kind of see that they have a little bit of a uh, little value there if you can defend. You get that middle tower, you can defend up by it as well. Here we got them. Um, are we going into actual battles here? Is Nooch not paying attention? This looks like we're starting to battle. So they're watching him down with, a, with porgs and a tank and uh, well, they survived that. They're stunned, but they survived. Now they're going to start stunning that flame trooper so they can keep them stunned. Look, at they're doing no damage, but that one Gungan is staying back there and stunning while the Adat takes care of the, excuse me, the clone tank takes care of the tower. This was a good one. We're going to watch this twice. So the Gungans stung, stun Boba Fett, and he actually tries to get off his special and fails because the Gungans are stunning him. We're going to watch that in a little slower motion because that's actually important and it probably works against every hero. So he, so Boba Fett's coming in. Nooch lays down the Gungans. He's focused on the tower. The Gungans start stunning him while the Porgs are attacking him. Then a bomb drops and kills the Porgs, but the Gungans keep stunning. There's still two Porgs. And then Boba Fett tries to get a special off and he doesn't. So they prevented the legendary heroes special from working and that is actually fairly important so if you can find a usefulness for that the way nooch just did right there that can be really really important especially that boba fett he now he with his uh rework he loads it up quick and he gets it off quick so that was really a, a special usage of the gun guns right there let's get into some gameplay footage so these first few games nooch was playing against i mean you see 1000 trophies um, Nooch had dropped some trophies. In the beta, we have to do that in LEGO Star Wars Battles because there's just not a lot of battles up, up high and you have to drop trophies. Once you all are here playing the game and it's full release, I'm sure we'll have a lot of you up at the higher trophy level we can play with. Okay, let's get into this. So the tank is going down with the Gungans. You're going to watch the Flame Trooper take care of the Gungans. Although, since there's one left and it's behind the tank, nope, it's out. Those flames really eat up the Gungans. They cannot stun that Flame Trooper enough to stop themselves from being uh, to be, being barbecued, basically. <laughs> okay, we've got two towers up. we got the... Uh, lost it again. Proton. 
Nooch is never going to remember the name of that tower. I need to write it on a sticky and put it on my monitor. So when I do these videos, I can remember the name of that dumb tower for you guys. The whatever. Here come the Gungans. Okay. So they can stun a unit from the side while the tower finishes them off. That's actually fairly useful. Now, when you combine them with Booma Balls, they can just stun everything forever. <laughs> so Now, notice that they're not going to be able to kill that Flame Trooper, but then now we did triple stun there. We did the Gungans. We did the Booma Balls first, the Gungan stun, then BB-8. Then we used the Porgs to do the actual damage to everything. So the Porgs are doing the damage, and the Gungans are stunning. Let's see if it works with this Flame Tower or not. Because Gungans do not do well against Flames, neither do Porgs. And... And and no, doesn't work. So stay away from the flames because they will get toasted. Okay, boys and girls, we're trying to pull out a victory here with Gungans on the roster. We're trying to pull out a victory with the Gungan Pudu. We're trying to give them a little bit of credit, trying to say, hey, Gungans are worth something. A Gungan is a galactic being too. And try to recognize the worth and the value of of Gungans. All right, here they are. They're stunning Boba Fett again. We got BB-8 and the Gungans and the Booma Balls. All that stunning is really nice. Now we have six Gungans on the field. He seismic charges three of them and bombs the other three. Now that is a nice thing. They have shields. So Gungans all have shields and you'll notice that all of them survive the seismic charge and the bombing and we still have six on the on the table. And because people aren't using them, they may not realize that. So that is actually a bonus you see their health, but you don't realize they have a shield, much like Destroyer or Droid does. So they all survive those two battles. That was a really effective way to use the Gungans there at the end of that battle. Okay, so we're, uh, we joined this one 15 seconds in. Sorry, folks. I uh, got a little late on the recording trigger there. So we've already got a... Particle Beam! There's already a Particle Beam in our end. We take care of it with Luke, but there's a Destroyer Droid kind of going to town on our tower. Uh, looks like we stunned him, though, with BB-8. Yeah. So we've got Luke. So here's where the Gungans are good. There's a tank in front of them, which is Luke. The Gungans are coming behind. That's a tough combo to deal with if you're the enemy. And this guy decides, I'm going to go down the other side because it's just Luke and Gungans. Oops. <laughs> that, is not, that is not a, a great move. He's going to use a like, seismic charge to stun them, which is fine. Which is fine. But they're still alive, and now they're coming, and they're stunning the tower. Now we got Luke and Porgs going on the tower. It's dead. Um, don't ignore the Gungans. Don't ignore the Gungans. Not your best move. So there we got a five stud win with, with Gungans. That was actually pretty nice. Alright, let's jump in here. This is the one Nooch is really, really proud of. Rocketman77. You can see that his tower is actually one level higher than Nooch's. And Rocketman hands it to Nooch on a consistent basis because all of his units are one to two levels higher than Nooch's. Now he is going with Phasma here and I think he's learning Phasma, so that's a little benefit. But he's using the Flame Troopers and for some reason Nooch dropped Porgs down. Doesn't seem real smart. But you can see that his Flame Trooper is level nine, Nooch's is level seven or eight. Um, he's just got bigger units than Nooch, level nine battle droids. He's just bigger than Nooch. So this is one that Nooch is gonna be proud of in the end. He's Nooch is very happy that Rocket Man is using Phasma. Very, very happy. Look at those level 10 Stormtroopers. But Nooch is really thrilled that Rocket Man... Now, Rocket Man is, is in a lot of chat with Nooch, so we're, we're, we're close friends. Here we use the Gungans to stun everything that's coming on the tower and use the Booma Balls. So everything is stunned, and in combination with the tower, we're able to see the Flame Droid, the Flamer, the Flamer is going to... Oh, he didn't get it off. How about that? They stood up to the Flamer that time. Now the Gungans are marching down. We're going to use Porgs to take out that uh, Battle Droid Factory. The Gungans should actually be pretty pretty good against that Particle Beam because they're just going to keep stunning it, but two level 10 Stormtroopers dropped in. Oh, the Bomber was well-timed. Doesn't matter. Gungans died. Yeah, they did not stand up to that well at all. At all. We even bombed... All the damage on the Stormtroopers was from that Bomber. Okay, we got a minute left in the game, and we got three troopers coming in. The X Wing can handle them. They're at low health from the bomber. So well, that's one thing, just a general tip. If if your X Wing or your TIE Fighter can handle the units coming in on your tower, don't drop more units to, to take care of them. Just let the tower take care of them. Then you save up energy for later usage. We're going to put in Luke against the Flame Trooper, and we're going to drop the clone tank over there. So 
We're going to have to use BB-8 or the Boomer Balls over there to stun that tower because it will wipe out that tank in a hurry. And Boomer Balls be good. And we drop BB-8. We're going to get it. We didn't get it in time. So it's not looking super great, although BB-8 has that tower stun. We'll drop Gungans on the right. Can Luke take out that tower? Can Luke finish it off? Oh, BB-9. You little minx. Okay, we got a big Gungan and Porg Rush, which he just wiped out with his bomber. Well, this is not looking strong. Are we com we're coming back over there? How do we do that? We'd have to go back and watch. That tower's at 17. Wow. We used a Y-Wing with two seconds left. That's dangerous. This is not actually looking great. I'm not sure how Nooch is going to win this because you waste a Y-Wing in a tower with only 178 on it. Well, we use the Boomer Balls to stun everybody. We drop Porgs on all of them while they're stunned. We bring in the Gungans to stun them more and let the Porgs work. So the Gungans are doing the stunning and letting the Porgs work. We got more Boomer Balls. Here they come. Get that Flame Get the Flame Trooper. Get the Flame. Got him. So the Flame Trooper was gotten. The Porgs are still alive. We got the Y-Wing coming in. Look at those Gungans. That's two squadrons of Gungans that the bomber can't kill because of the shield. And more Gungans. Three squadrons of Gungans on the field at the end of the game. We beat Rocket Man, who we almost never, ever beat. And it took nine Gungans to do it. How about that? How about them Gungans? Days are not so bad after all. Me's a spake. The ability to speak does not make one intelligent. Okay, so the Gungans are all right. And they actually helped Nooch beat a guy bigger than him. And we saw a five-stud win in there. Still not highly recommended. They're still overpriced by probably one. But if you can use them right, clearly, by this video, you can see they can be used to win a battle. And they can especially be used by Nooch because Nooch too good.